Hey guys, over here at ASC, I wanted to take a minute to dispel some uh, untruths, we'll say. The other day I was walking around a car show and uh, I overheard a gentleman say, oh, that car's a Bondo bucket. Now, plastic filler, which is what it's called, Bondo is a brand, um, plastic filler is used in a lot of cases wrong and it will cause some problems, but there's nothing wrong with filler. Um, typically you see a car, show car for example, that's perfectly straight from front to back. I can guarantee you it's got plastic filler in it. It's near impossible to make a metal panel flawlessly straight. Now you can take out all the little bumps and bruises in it, but to get from front to back and make it perfectly straight, there's going to be filler in it. You know, for example, we take a car and you can look at this one down the side. The metal work on this one is pretty straight. Um, there's very little ripples in it at all, but this car will be skin coated with a very thin coat of plastic from front to back and it will be blocked in one motion from front to back. That's how you get these cars straight where you look down the side and it looks mirror finish. That is the only way to get them straight. So next time you see somebody make a comment about plastic filler, if it's done correctly, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It needs to be very thin. Um, I would, I would never put more than a quarter of an inch of plastic filler on any panel and a quarter of an inch is pushing it. That's, that's probably the thickest point. Typically, and you can see right here, it's, it's a very thin, very thin edge of plastic. It's just enough to get it straight. But you block these cars out perfectly straight from one end to the other, it makes all the difference in the world on the finish. So, you know, in the future, you see a car with a little plastic in it. If it's done correctly, there's nothing wrong with it. Just a quick tip for you. Take care.